naturally curious. Once comfortable with their nearby environment, they'll want to explore beyond it. <clears throat> My heart bounced inside me as I was carried along in the river of kids go going down the hallway. Lakeview Elementary School looked different than it did when mom and I visited last summer. The halls had been empty then with only a few things on the walls. Now there were bright colors everywhere and kids seemed to fill every available space, all talk talking at once. Don't trip, don't trip or you'll be a goner, I thought as I made my last patch each decorated classroom door. Our new packs at one door with kids' names written on construction paper crayons. Second grade is sweet, said another, with names on cupcake shapes. Emma, a voice said, is that you? I turned and smiled, even though she was younger than me. Shauna and I had been in homeschool group together for two years group together two years ago. It was so nice to see someone I knew that I wanted to hug Shauna, except there were too many kids in the hallway. Hi, I'm going to public school this year, I said. I can't believe you're here, Shauna said. Who's your teacher? Miss Hutton. Come on, I'll take you there. Shauna hoisted her yellow backpack onto her shoulder and walked confidently around kids down the hallway. It felt weird to follow someone younger than me, especially since the little kids had followed me in homeschool group but it was a relief not to do this alone. Shauna paused at a door near the end of the hallway. This is it. The door was decorated like a tree with construction paper owls and the words, look who's in fifth grade. Emma was on a cute blue owl with big eyes outlined in green. Yes, this was really happening. Thanks, Shauna, I said, but she was already being swallowed up by the crowd of kids in the hall. Stepping inside the room felt like coming downstairs on Christmas morning. The big whiteboard was outlined in stars and someone had written on it, Welcome, fifth graders. It seemed like every way I turned, there were so many exciting things. Colorful paper lanterns hung from the ceiling and there were leafy plants on the windowsill. Between the big windows were bookcases full of books. I recognized some of my favorites displayed on the top. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Smile, The One and Only Ivan, and Because of Win dixie It was comforting to see them, like I already had a few friends in the room. Over, over in the corner, a plastic toy chest held a jumble of playground equipment. One ball had the words Hutton Kickball on it. I'd heard of kickball, but I'd never played it before. Maybe I could look up the rules online when I got home. The desks were pushed together into groups of four. Every desk had a new pencil and name tag on it. I found Emma right away and put my backpack on the chair. My own desk. I'd be sitting next to Jack and across from Leah and Iris. I practiced their names in my head. Jack, Leah, Iris, Jack, Leah, Iris. We all had four letter names. That seemed like a good sign. I opened up my backpack and pretended to be busy while other kids were milling around. Everyone, please put your name tag and gather on the rug, on the rug said, Ms. Hutton, said Ms. Hutton. She had chin-length blonde hair and wore a pretty gray skirt with a white sweater and a chunky orange necklace. I took off my jacket and stuck Emma on my shirt, careful not to cover up the golden retriever. Sitting on the rug with the other kids, I wiggled my toes inside my sneakers to keep the rest of me still. I couldn't believe I was really here. Excited had turned on a burst of speed, leaving scared, coughing in the dust. Maybe one of these kids was my future best friend. I smiled so I'd look friendly in case anyone looked at me. A few girls wore dresses and skirts, but the others were in jeans like me. A girl with long brown hair in a ponytail was twirling her necklace around her finger. A blonde girl with glasses had her pen with her. I, ho I hoped I hadn't made a mistake by leaving mine in my backpack. Fifth graders came in more sizes than I expected. I was relieved to see I was in the middle, not the biggest or the tallest or shortest either. No other girls had red hair, but one boy did. His hair was blonder than mine, but still, it was nice not to be the only one. Welcome to your last year of elementary school, said Miss Hutton. The kids cheered, so I did too. Let me start by telling you a little about myself, Miss Hutton smiled, but I'll do it in a fun way. It's called, it's a game called Two Truths and a Lie, where I'll tell you 
three things, but only two of them are true. When I'm done, you'll guess which one is the lie. My teacher was going to lie? I looked around to see if anyone else thought that was shocking. The other kids were smiling. My family likes to hike in the White Mountains, Miss Hunton said. I have a pet cat named Sirius Black from my son's favorite book series, and I've never been downhill skiing. Never been skiing? That had to be a lie. We were surrounded by mountains and ski areas. As I repeat them, raise your hand for the one you think is a lie, said Miss Hutton. I raised my hand for the skiing statement along with almost everyone else. Now I'll reveal the answers, Miss Hutton. Miss Hutton held up a big framed photo of her with her husband and two teenage kids on a mountaintop with layers of blue and purple mountains in the background. My family loves to hike, so that statement is true, she said. Here we are at the top of Mount Washington in July. Dad would approve of their hiking boots and poles. I couldn't wait to tell her that I like to hike too. She picked up another photo and turned it around to show us a little dog. This is our dog, Baxter. Wait, what? Baxter wasn't that the name and she said she had a cat. You'd never been skiing, I asked loudly. The whole class looked at me. That's right, Emma, Miss Sun said. But let's remember to raise your hand when you want to say something, okay? I felt my face burning red. I had certainly seen school kids on TV raise their hands, but I never had to do that myself, and I didn't like being in trouble. I've never been downhill skiing because I lived in Georgia for most of my life, Miss Hutton explained. In fact, before we moved here five years ago, I'd only even... I'd only ever seen snow a few times. Miss Hutton smiled. Another thing about me is that I've been a teacher for 12 years, and I have to admit that fifth grade is my favorite grade to teach. Fifth graders are independent, have a great sense of humor, humor, and are wonderful problem solvers. They are compassionate and care deeply about things. I lifted my head higher with each nice thing Miss Hutton said. And this is and this is Miss Martell. She'll be helping out at some times during the day. I looked behind me to another woman. She was younger than Mrs. Hutton, with brown hair and lots of freckles. She waved to us. I waved back. No one else did, so I put my hand down fast. I know we've I know we've have a great I know we'll have a great year together, Miss Hutton continued. Now I want you to get to know each other. So find your seats and I'll tell you what we're going to do next. At our group of desks, the other three kids immediately started unpacking their backpack. So I opened mine and took out my assignment notebook and a cute panda eraser. I wanted to be ready as soon as Miss Hutton started telling us what we needed to do. Suddenly, it felt weird that this was real. I'd been imagining and thinking about today for so long that the waiting part seemed to go on forever, and the real part was coming too fast. I touched my pocket to feel the bump of the two rocks. You got this. Be yourself. Hi, I'm Emma, I said to the kids around me, giving my friendliest but not too crazy big smile. I'm new here. Leah and Iris said hi back. They both looked nice. Leah had short blonde hair and wore bright blue glasses. Iris's brown hair was held back with a green headband. Where'd you come from, Iris asked. I'm new to this school, I said, but I've lived on Moose Alley my whole life. Oh, Leah said, how do you like it here compared to your old school? I didn't want to tell them I'd been homeschooled just yet. In books and movies, homeschool kids are usually super quirky. I didn't want them to expect me to be like that. Owen had said other kids don't give you too many chances. I like it so far, I said instead. It's a golden retriever, Jack said, looking at my shirt. His hands were on his thighs, but his fingers were twitching like a secret wave. I have two golden at home, I said. Glad to change the subject. Do you have any? But Mrs. Hunnan clapped her hands to get our attention. Okay, now that you've had a minute to get settled, you are going to play two truths and a lie with your seatmates. Remember to come up with two true things that the other kids in your group won't already know about you and one lie. I'll give you some time to think, and then we'll play the game. Leah, Iris, and Jack barely knew anything about me, so that part 
would be easy. I opened my notebook to write down my statements. The truth seemed easier. I'd already mentioned my dogs. I could tell about Lappy, but he wasn't mine to keep, and I didn't want to explain that. So I wrote, We once had a beaver in our barn. That was true and seemed different enough that the other kids might not believe it. I've hatched frogs in our bathroom at home. It was a homeschool science project, but I didn't have to tell that part. Most kids like animals, so they might find that interesting. And now a lie. I love dill pickles. When my family eats out at a restaurant and they put a pickle on my plate, I always give it to mom. Iris went first. I'm afraid of elevators. When I was six, I broke my wrist falling out of a tree. I'm allergic to tomatoes. Leah rolled her eyes. That's too easy for me, Emma and Jack can guess. Tomatoes give you hives, Jack said. Last year, you had to go to the emergency room during lunch. As a new kid, I could see I was at a big disadvantage in this game. Iris huffed. You're supposed to guess the lie, Jack. I think the lie is elevators, I said. Emma's right, Iris said. I actually love elevators, especially those, especially the ones that have a glass side so you can see outside as you're going up. Climbing stairs is so boring, and I did really break my wrist when I was six. In fact, I still have my cast. Your turn, Leah. I had a hard time thinking of things you wouldn't know, she said to Iris. Then she smiled at me. Iris and I have known each other since we were babies. Leah and Iris acted like a team already. That was exactly what I missed with Owen and what I wanted again. Leah cleared her throat. I stepped on a bee this summer. I'm a vegetarian. My toenails have green polish on them, she smiled. And don't bother looking because I'm wearing sneakers. Was it a wasp, Jack asked. I don't know, but if that's your guess, you're wrong, Leah said. I did step on a bee. And it hurt so much that I didn't look to see what kind it was. Wasps can sting more than once, Jack said. Social wasps give off chemicals when threatened and tells the rest of the colony to attack. If Jack, remember to stay on topic, a voice said. I turned to see Miss Martell making a spinning motion with her finger. Move on, she said quietly to Jack. Jack closed his mouth. Remember, you can write yourself some cue cards if you need help staying focused, Miss Martell said, and walked over to the next set of desks. I was pretty sure Jack had some special needs. I had met kids with special needs before because that's one reason kids sometimes get homeschooled. I was wondering what else Jack was going to say about wasps, though. We get them around our apple trees a lot, and Dad always says, the better you understand an animal, the easier it is to keep you both safe. Um, is the lie about nail polish, I asked? Yes, Leah said. I'm wearing hot pink. You're a vegetarian, Iris asked. Since when? Since about a month ago, Leah said. But I've wanted to, I wanted to for a long time. Iris looked shocked. Maybe they weren't as close as I thought. Best friends would probably know you changed to be a vegetarian. Or maybe they had been best friends when they were little, but were just regular friends now, and each open to a new best friend. Your turn, Emma, Leah said. I didn't want to read my statements in order, so I started with the lie. I love pickles. I've hatched frogs in our bathroom at home. We once had a beaver in our barn. The beaver, definitely, Iris said. That's just weird. It's weird enough to be true, Leah said. I'm guessing frogs. Frogs in the bathroom is disgusting, Iris said. Ugh, can you imagine slimy frog eggs, eggs right next to where you brush your teeth? Leah shivered, and I felt the smile slipping off my face. I hadn't kept the frog eggs in the sink. They were in a glass bowl on the shelf. Mom wanted them in a place where I could wash my hands easily after changing their water. Pickles, Jack said. I opened my mouth to say yes, but the word got stuck in my throat. The beaver is true. I said, giving myself a moment to think. My dad's a game warden, and the beaver was one that he rescued. It was in a cage in our barn overnight because the rehab center wasn't open yet. Okay, that's not weird. It's great, Leah said. What's the lie? I hesitated. It was just a game, a small thing, and I really... Would it matter? I'd be with these kids every day for a whole year. I needed to get off to a good start. I didn't want them to think I was weird or worse, disgusting. The frogs, I said. I knew it, Iris said. No one would keep slimy frogs in their bathroom. I would, Jack said. I forced a smile. At least someone was on my side. 
I don't like pickles, Leah said. So if I get one, you can have it, Emma. Okay, Jack, your turn. I learned to read when I was three years old. I like Legos. I don't like animals. That's too easy, Ira said. You always talk about animals. The lie is that you don't like animals. You win, Jack said. You learned to read when you were three, I asked. That's amazing. Dr. Seuss ABC was my first book, Jack said. Big A, little A. Miss Hutton clapped her hands. Did you find out some fun things about each other? Now we're going to take that activity and make it bigger. It will be your first fifth grade assignment. I opened my assignment notebook to today's date, which I had all night in purple hearts. You'll work in groups of four. Each group will prepare a short presentation introducing us to everyone in your group using two truths and a lie. On presentation day, you will introduce us to your teammates by telling us three things about them, but only two will be true. The class will guess the lie. Is there a price if we guess right, a boy asked? Miss Hunt smiled. The price will be getting to know your classmates. Ah, the boy said, I was hoping for chocolate. Finally, you'll reveal the answers, Miss Hunt said. Please bring some props or pictures with you, just like I did with my photo of my family hiking. I've saved one bulletin board and a big table that we can use to display things. I looked to where I looked where she pointed. The bulletin board said, Miss Hunnan's fabulous fifth graders. Surrounded with owls and our names on them, just like on the classroom door. Your group will present to the class on Friday, Miss Hutton said. It'll be a fun way for us to wrap our first week together. Any questions? Iris raised her hand. Can we make a video for our presentation? Some of the things I want to show are too, bring, too big to bring to school. Miss Hutton hesitated, but then she said, sure, be creative as long as it follows the format of two truths and a lie. Iris leaned across her desk to whisper to Leah, Jack, and me, Video is easier than doing it in person. Leah, you and I can say the statements about each other. Jack and Emma can work together too. Then they'll just put it all together at the end. It'll save us time. Sounds good, Leah said. Wait, what? It was decided we're supposed to work together and I hadn't even said anything yet? I try not to let the disappointment show on my face. I had a feeling I, it'd be harder to work with Jack, but I couldn't say that. I didn't want to hurt his feelings or make Iris and Leah mad, so I nodded. Sounds good. I lied. <laughs>